Good morning. I'm at the Herefordshire. Look at this stuff. We got some blue sky and some sun. It's amazing. Now, when I started playing golf, my first round was 135. And the reason for that was I couldn't hit woods. I was slicing them. I was losing balls. I remember a round of golf at Painswick where I lost 12 balls. I'm not kidding. See, there's a huge value in getting this from the first tee to the 18th green. And it's all those penalty shots. You get rid of them. I went and had some lessons from the assistant pro and he gave me some drills to do and I practiced. But the most important thing he said to me was, don't hit your woods until you can hit your three iron high and straight and consistently do that. Now I haven't picked up a club in two weeks. I didn't warm up before I started. So who knows what this is going to be like. Yeah. I haven't even made the fairway. Still, I'm not sure I'd have made the fairway if I'd hit a decent four iron to start with. But the important thing is, is I've got my ball. Imagine what I would have done with my driver. First swing in two weeks. And I do have a few issues today. This opening hole is stroke index seven. So we get two shots in order to break a hundred. So that's four shots to get on the green and two shots for putting. I've managed to get on in three, despite hitting three awful shots. If I'd hit those shots with my driver or my three wood, I'd certainly be going in the bag for another ball. So if I could two putt this, then I'm one shot ahead of our target to start with. This is where we hope we've practiced our three and four footers. Well, obviously if I haven't played, I haven't putted either. So there's no guarantee I'm going to be holding putts like this. The weather's been pretty awful. And I've been very busy with the house and the garden. I'm trying to get all of that out of the way so that I can actually go out and play golf when the sun does eventually appear. I've hit an absolute stinker because I'm struggling a bit with my setup and I'm struggling with my swing. Because that's a four iron, I've still got my golf ball. What I'm also trying to do today is play like I used to play, i.e. no golfing brain. So I'm going to be taking on some shots, perhaps, that I certainly wouldn't today. There's no way I would be trying to hit over these trees if I was in form and hitting decent shots. Well, that clipped a branch. And bizarrely, it's on the green. This is why we 
take on hero shots, isn't it? Because every now and then, one actually pays off. But we should leave them alone, really. Even though it's got me a par. Now, there's no change on this hole. It's only 282. I normally hit a four iron or less down here in the summer when the ground's firm. So this is no change to the way I normally play the hole. But look at where my where my feet are pointing. Look at where I'm aiming. This is an issue with not playing very often. It's funny, I feel like I'm aiming square, but I so obviously am not. But it doesn't matter too much. We're here to break a hundred. We're here to get this golf ball to the end of the round. Or in this case, I'm only playing nine holes. So it's all about eliminating the penalty shots. Try not to do that too often. I'm sure somebody was going to say that I hit the ball so much better now than I did 35 years ago when I started breaking a hundred with my irons. Really? I was 35 years younger. I wasn't overweight. I was stronger. I was fitter. I had more speed. I could turn these hips not just back and through better, I could turn the shoulders better. I was striking the ball so much better, and I know there's rose-tinted glasses in there, but I could really hit a three iron off a tee peg back then. Big high draw, get it out there about 210 yards. I can't hit a three iron 210 yards now. Sometimes I can't even hit my five wood 210 yards. But now I've got a short game, and I've got a golfing brain. I make better decisions I chip better and I putt better despite that free jab I've just had. Back then I was still chipping with a seven iron. I wasn't using loft. So I could never get close to the hole. I could never get those one putts. Sometimes I couldn't even get those two putts. All right, long par three up the hill. Now, where's the tee marker? I'm not sure how long this is gonna to play today up this hill, but back then, I would have ripped a three or a four iron onto this green very easily. These days, the old man struggles a bit. Well, I'm certainly looking like a beginner golfer. I'm not even aiming at the green here. But a par three that we can take a five on and still be on target to break a hundred is quite a generous hole. So I was aiming a fraction left because I didn't want to be in the bunker. But I aimed too far left. Now look at this with the camera. That's a good five, six feet. And then when you move the camera around, it looks like three. And a par chance when you got two shots is wonderful. Stroke index three, two shots again. <laughs> Do you really think I hit it better now than I used to 35 years ago? These days I would take less club here and I'd be looking to try and get onto a flat bit and give myself a different easier shot into the green. I've hit a low hook with that, a shot tracer wouldn't do its thing. But this is the other kind of mistake I would make. 89 uphill. I got a wedge. But it's on such a severe upslope, I've added about 10 degrees of loft to my club. So it's never going to make it. I had a poor lie here. That was about the best I could do. If I could have had a golf mace lie, I might have, uh, might have been able to get it up to the hole. But this is how I used to play, with just irons. And I did, obviously, eventually break a hundred with just irons. But I made a lot of...
beginner mistakes. Now I can't help the way I'm hitting it. I've been looking at my swing one frame at a time while editing this video and I can see exactly what I'm doing and it's all the old bad habits because we always fall into our old bad habits don't we but breaking a hundred isn't that difficult because when you're using oh, irons wow. shorter clubs than your driver the golf course is a much wider place one thing I haven't mentioned is the par of the hole this is number 8, it's 455 yards par 4 stroke index 1 so we get two shots so it's not a par 4 is it, it's a par 6 that doesn't sound quite as challenging as 455 par 4 we can get on in four strokes and two putt we've got our par we're on our way to breaking that hundred perhaps if we could hit three good ones of these then we're getting on in three we got that net birdie we got those two strokes we're getting closer to breaking a hundred and going down to 95 and 94 When you're not using your woods, the golf course becomes a much wider target. It becomes very difficult to lose balls, or go out of bounds, or stick it in the water, or behind trees. The game gets easier, even for someone like me, who's played about three rounds of golf this year, and I'm playing awful. You'd be surprised how low you can go when you're getting round the course with just the one ball. Give it a try. You might well surprise yourself. Even if you do it only once a month, to go out once a month with just irons or hybrids, because that's the modern equivalent, you will surprise yourself on what you score. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I know I'm bound to get a comment along the lines of, oh look, here's another low handicapper going around showing us how to break a hundred with his irons. It's easy for him. Well, I'm not kind of like the typical low handicapper who does these sort of videos. I am not a six foot tall gorilla who hits his four iron 230 yards and his pitching wedge 145 yards. I can barely get my wedge about 105 at the moment because I'm striking it so poorly. My four iron's going about 175. If I was really in form and the ground was firmer, I might get it out there about 185. I'm just an ordinary bloke like you. And if you say that you cannot do what I've just done here, hit a slappy, hit, well, no, the first one was a reasonable four iron, second one was a bit of a slap, then I had an eight iron down the wind, 130 some yards, didn't I? I got it, I missed the green because I, I thought the bit that I was landing on was green, but it wasn't because the flag's way over on the right. I don't know this course as well as I ought to. And I've chipped and putted for a bogey, which with the two shots means net birdie. If you say you cannot do that, that you must use your driver and lose balls then you never will be able to do that if you get in that negative mindset I can't do it well you're right you can't bloody well do it can you ninth hole and I think I'll call it a day there cheers now I am aiming a long way left here and this is quite deliberate just for a change it's because I want to view down the rest, rest of the hole round the dog leg. If only I could have hit it where I was aiming, I wouldn't now be faced with this over the corner. I'm not going to be too aggressive here. I'm going to try and bend it a little bit because I want to get down towards the green. Chip with a 9 iron. I think even back in the day, going over the corner of this bunker 
would have scared me to death. So a chip and run is the best way of playing it. Cheerio.